that is a very warm good morning to all of you and welcome in our science session. So we are discussing our lesson and the name of the lesson is what? Motion and measurement of distances. So today from this lesson we will discuss the next point that is what? Types of motion. Okay, we will discuss the next point that is what? Types of motion. We will discuss about the different types of the motion. So the first type of the motion is what? Translatory motion. Okay, the first type of the motion is what? Translatory motion. What is mean by translatory motion? Let's see. When all the parts of an object move the same distance in given time, then the motion of an object is said to be translatory motion. Okay. So in the translatory motion, what happens? The object moves. The all the parts of the object moves in the same distance and in a given time. So all the parts of the object is moving with the same distance and at the given time. Then that motion is called as what? Translatory motion. But the translatory motions are of two types. There are the two types of the translatory motion. Let's see which are that. There are the two types of the translatory motion that are what? Rectilinear motion and curvilinear motion. So let's see what is mean by rectilinear and the curvilinear motion. Rectilinear it means what? The object which are moving on the straight line. Okay. So let's see the definition. When an object moves along a straight line. How the object is moving? The object is moving along the straight line. Its motion is called rectilinear motion. So when the object is moving along the so along the straight line, then that object or the motion of that object is called as what? This motion, rectilinear motion. Next one is that curvilinear motion. What is meant by curvilinear motion? When an object moves along a curved path, okay? We can say that when an object moves along a curved path, then the motion of that object is called as what? Curvilinear motion. Okay, so this is about the definition. Let's see the different examples of the rectilinear motion. So we can say that there are the different examples of the rectilinear motion. Examples like a car moving along a straight line, the ball falling from the roof. See here, if I uh, leave this cap of the uh, cap of the pen, then it becomes in a straight position. Okay, this is also called rectilinear motion. We can say that the movement or the motion of a striker from the carrom board and very important we can say that the motion of a soldiers when they are being the parents. So all these are the examples of rectilinear motion. Let's see the examples of curvilinear motion. We can say that the car is moving along the curve path. It is also one example of the curvilinear motion. Next uh, example is what? The ball thrown by a uh, ball, the ball thrown by a ball and also we can say that what? The disc or the javelin thrown by a, by an athlete. Okay, so all these are the certain examples of curvilinear motion. Okay, so see rectilinear motion is what the object is moving along the straight line. In the curvilinear motion, from the words only we will come to know rectilinear is what? Straight line curve is there. So it means what the object is moving along the curve line and these both are the types of translatory motion. So this is the first type of the motion. Next one we will discuss about the circular motion. What is mean by circular motion? Let's see the definition of it. When an object moves along a circular path, its motion is called circular motion. Okay, so what is mean by circular motion? When an object moves along a circular path, when an object is moving in a circular path, then that motion is called as what? Its motion is called as what? Circular motion. Well, there are so many examples of the circular motion. Is also there we can say that the minute hand of a clock is moving or it is showing the circular motion. Next one, the motion of the earth around the sun. Also we can say that what the motion of the moon around the earth. Also we say that uh, also one more example of the circular motion is what the atlas running on 
the track okay circular track uh, inside the stadium so this is all are the examples of what circular motion what happens in the circular motion the object is doing the motion in a circular manner okay when an object moves along a circular path then its motion is called as what circular motion then its motion is called as what circular motion next one we will go to the rotatory motion what is meant by rotatory motion see student there is a very minor difference between the circular motion and the rotatory motion so don't get confused it is very important circular motion the object is moving along the circular path but in the rotatory motion what happens let's see the definition first when an object moves about a fixed axis without changing position okay so when an object object is moving along with its axis but that object is not changing position at all then that motion is called as what the rotatory motion then that motion is called as rotatory motion very important when an object is moving in a fixed axis okay the object moves about a fixed axis and very important without changing Position. The object is not changing its position. Then that motion is called as what rotatory motion. We can say that motion of the fan is there. Also, we can say the motion of the top. Okay, all these things are having what its axis and along that axis it is moving. The blade of the fan is just moving along its axis. The top is also moving along its axis. Also, so many examples we can give for the rotatory motion. We can say the wheel of the sieve. which is continuously rotating but the at on their axis it doesn't change any position the giant wheel it is there also we can say the merry go round it is the one type of the we can yes is one type of the thing which is used by the children to play we can see it in the ground you can see in the image also merry go round also the giant wheel is there also the potter spins and the spinning wheel that is we are calling as what chirka so all these are the different examples of what rotatory motion they they are they are having axis and along that axis they are doing the motion without changing their position okay so this is about circular motion and about the rotatory motion in the circular motion there is no any fixed axis the object is just moving uh, along the circular path but the rotatory motion is having a fixed axis and are without changing its position and that motion is called as what rotatory motion okay so this is all about today today we will stop here we we'll meet in the next video.